Hello everyone. You're welcome to a few cool mathematics where we solve math problems into detail. And this is what we have before us today. Plus k, this is equal to 20. This dot here means multiplication, right? So now, what do you think will be the first step I will take? Open the bracket, right? Or is it not better I divide both sides by 2 since we have 2 here and 2 can divide 20? Yes. Divide by 2. Divide by 2. 2 can cancel 2. And then we have k. In fact, here we are going to have k to power 3 because k times k times k is k to power 3. Then plus here I have k. And this is over Okay, this is equal to 20 over 2, which is 10. Okay, so from here now, I can add k to power 3 plus k because they are not the same thing. But I can bring 10 to the left so that I will have k to power 3 plus k minus 10 equal to 0. This way, I will try to factorize it by splitting 10 into 2 k to power 3 plus k minus 8 minus some um, 2 is equal to 0. This is because minus 8 minus 2 will give us minus 10. And now minus 8 or 8 alone can be written as um, 2 to the power of 3 and that will work perfectly with k to the power of 3. So that means I'm going to have k to the power 3 plus k minus 2 to the power of 3 minus 2 is equal to 0. Now rearrange this. So we have k to the power 3 minus 2 to the power 3 plus k minus 2 equals 0. Now we can see that we've achieved our target which is to bring k to power 3 and 2 to power 3 together. Now we can apply a rule here. Remember that if you have a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, that this is the same thing as a minus b, okay, into bracket a squared plus ab plus b squared. Now we are going to apply this same principle to this so that in place of k to the power 3 minus 2 to the power 3, we are going to have um, k minus 2. Then in the other bracket, which is for this, we are going to have k squared, then plus ab becomes k times 2, which is 2k, right? And then plus b squared is now 2 squared. So we write 2 squared here, then close this bracket, plus k minus 2 will still appear. k minus 2, this is equal to 0. Do not forget that the whole of this here is for k to the power 3 minus 2 to the power of 3. Right? Now, if you look at this very well, here we have k minus 2, and there we have k minus 2 we can factor k minus 2 out. Then if you factor that out, in here, you're going to have k squared plus 2k plus 4, close the brackets, then plus here, k minus 2 divided by k minus 2 will give 1. Then we can close the brackets and equate it to 0. Now, I can deal with what I have in this second bracket so that I will have k minus 2 then into k squared plus 2k. Now, if I remove this bracket, I can add 4 and 1 so I have positive 5. And this is equal to 0. Right? Now, apply zero product rule that says k minus 2 is equal to 0 or k squared plus 2k 
plus 5 is equal to 0. Now, let's pick this linear equation first and leave the quadratic equation. So from here, k will be equal to 0 plus 2, right? And this means that k is equal to 2. And this is one of the solutions to the problem. But then, from this quadratic equation, we can obtain two more solutions, right? Now, let me write it down. We have k squared plus 2k plus 5 equals 0, right? Now, we are going to use the formula method to solve this. And for the formula, a will be 1, b will be 2, and c will be 5, right? 5 here is a constant, which is c. 2 is a coefficient of k, and that is b. And the coefficient of k squared is 1, which is our a. Now, what is the formula? Okay, let's try to recall. Now that the quadratic equation has an unknown of k, that means the, the formula will be for k. k is equal to minus b positive or negative square root of b squared minus 4ac and this is over 2a. Now, let us substitute. So k will be equal to minus b becomes minus 2, positive or negative. b squared is now 2 squared minus 4 times 1 times c, which is 5. Remember, this one is for a, which is um, 1. Then divide this by 2 times 1, because a is 1. But then, what do I do? k here will be equal to minus 2 positive or negative okay square root of um, the square of 2 is 4 minus 4 times 1 times 4 that will give us 20 right and the whole of this is over 2 now let's continue okay so from here k will be equal to minus 2 positive or negative then we have square root of negative 16, which is 4 minus 20, and this is over 2. Now, let's do something here. k will be equal to minus 2, positive or negative. We have square root of 16 multiplied by square root of negative 1. This is because square root of 16 multiplied by square root of negative 1 will give us square root of negative 16. Remember, the whole of this is over 2, right? Okay. Now, k is equal to minus 2, positive or negative. Square root of 16 is 4. And then square root of minus 1 is i. And this is all over 2. And then we can continue from here. So that k will be equal to now why don't we factor out 2 from the numerator if i do that then i'll have 2 here into bracket minus 1 plus or minus square root of um sorry 2 into 4 will give us 2i okay and then we can divide this by 2 now the reason for this factorization is for the 2 to cancel itself from there and now we have k to be equal to minus 1, positive or negative, to i. Now this is another solution for k, but remember that this is a 2 in 1 solution. Let's bring the three, the three solutions together. Okay, let's bring the three solutions together in here. Okay, the first solution is k1, and is that k is equal to 2, right? This will be the first solution. And then our k2, the second solution, is from here, where we have minus 1 plus 2i. Remember, I've used positive, so I'm going to use negative again. Okay, so from here, we have k3 
equal to minus 1 minus 2i. So these are the three solutions that can be obtained from the equation given. Thank you. But if you are instructed to get only the real solution, then your k will be equal to 2. Thank you for watching.